let's finally look at how we're going to fix up the tree. So we're going to do this actually just in order. This is why we numbered the cases in the way that we did, is our code is just apply all three of them. And it actually works out very conveniently. As long as we keep updating Z correctly, it will always work out the same. Fix up A deals with having sequential red nodes and a red parent. So for example, if I wanted to insert 16 over here, it would be red. And then I would have both my parent and my uncle are red and I would do case one. It's possible that when I do an insertion, I insert, for example, four and four would again be red. And here I have that my parent is red. Its sibling is black and that five is a right child and I am a left child. Similarly, if I had inserted instead, let's say seven, that would again be automatically be colored red at the start. And now I have that my parent is a right child and I am a right child. That would be case C. And all of these cases, we apply them sequentially. It's possible that after we've done all of our fix up A style fixes, we will then suddenly have to do some fix up B and fix up C style fixes. So let's see how that occurs in this example that we have here. Let's suppose we wanted to insert 16 into this red black tree. In order to do that, it would end up being the left child of 17 and it would start as red. And then let's consider which of our cases are we in. Looking at the tree, 17 is red and 25 is red. And if we remember that was case one, the way that we dealt with this was we recolored 17 to be black we recolored 25 to be black. Maybe we color, recolor it properly, so we make it black. And then we recolor our grandparent, 19, to be red. And then we are going to update. Originally, the note I added was Z, and it was down here. I'm going to update Z to be 19 now. And then I need to assess. Look, I still have it broken. I still have 15 and 19, but my parent's sibling, which is three, is now different color than my parent. So what am I going to do? In this situation, both my parent and myself are a right child. The way I was supposed to deal with this was if we scroll all the way up to make sure we get the code right, in this situation, we have that we are both right children in which case we're going to left rotate on the grandparent and then recolor the parent and the previous grandparent. So we're going to left rotate on the grandparent. So if we scroll all the way back down, we're left rotating on eight. So this gets brought down. 15 gets brought up. And 12 becomes the right child of 8. Then we need to move all of the stuff up and reconnect it up. So this is now a red black tree. We now need to recolor it. Let's make sure we do the correct recoloring. I rotate 8 down. And then let's scroll up again. Make sure we look at the code. Always try to be safe, right? So I perform the rotation. And then I recolor... Both of the children need to be red, and the new parent of Z is now going to be black. So let's scroll down. I need to color the parent of Z to be black. So 15 becomes black. And then I recolor 8 to be red. And now I need to check, is everything okay? It seems to be. And if I look at my tree... I have one, two black nodes, one, two black nodes, one, two black nodes, one, two, everything has two black nodes, so it seems to have fixed it. So if you notice, it's really easy to get messed up in these things and you need to go very slowly. Hopefully I edited in that I needed to go slowly, but it took me some time to go through this and you should always do the same. I'm going to leave as a challenge for you guys. I will do it, as, I will do it for you in the uploaded version of the notes, but I'm not going to do it in this video to try and insert 28 into this tree here. If you notice, this tree looks kind of similar to the one we had up here in terms of the structure down here where 28 is going to go. 
So I want you guys to do that one on your own as our final thing for these lecture videos. Future Nick here realizing that he never analyzed the runtime for the algorithm. So let's go back up and analyze the runtime for the algorithm. Okay, so fix up A. Let's go all the way back up and analyze that. Fix up A was all the way up here. What this did is it kept going up the tree by finding the grandparent. So this is going to be in theta of h, and we already know h is log of n because of the proof that we did. So this isn't theta of log of n. It's actually like h over 2 because we're always finding the grandparent, but it's asymptotic complexity, so that over 2 doesn't matter. Let's look at fix up b. For fix up b, what are we doing? We are doing an if statement, pointers, pointers and rotations, pointers and rotations, and assignments of colors. All of this, it's a whole bunch of gibberish, but it's all constant time. It's a whole bunch of moving around of pointers, but it is just those pointer manipulations. Everything there is a constant time operation. And there's no recursion or anything, so it's a just constant. And you can bet that case three is going to be much of the same. Also theta one, we're again just moving pointers around and then applying case three afterwards. Now, let's look at the runtime then. We have theta h and theta ones. So all of this is in theta of h. And let's go all the way back up to the top again. All the way back up to the original method, which was insert. And if we look at insert, it's somewhere up here. There we go. Insert found the parent that exactly like it was for binary search trees, that's in theta of h. Bunch of pointer stuff, and then fix up, which is in theta of h. So insertion is in theta of h, which is the same as theta of log of n for a red-black tree. Our theorem guarantees that for us. That's why that theorem is so important, and finding out and understanding that theorem is the crux of why this data structure works and how the analysis of it is also structured. So this is our insert method. We are not going to bother with delete. Delete is equally as tedious. The point of red black trees is that we've seen an implementation of this once, and you can look up the delete method if you want to see how you could implement this on your own. Red black trees are very commonly used in a bunch of applications whenever you need a height balanced binary search tree.